Hey, 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 good morning. Um, I'm Johan Ben Ardi, and today we are doing the last session out of our book, High Performance Habits from Brandon Bouchard, um, talking about the number one thing for high performance, which is confidence and the three C's of confidence. Yesterday we covered the one C, which is competence. All right, so before we get into the two C's, we are um, Johan Ben Ardi. Uh, I'm Johan Van Arde at johanvanarde.com. What we do is empower entrepreneurs to find more opportunities, uh, brand and market themselves, recruit more leaders into their business and companies, and we help you to outsource your busy work to virtual our, through our virtual assistant services so you can do the things that only you can do best. This book has been an absolutely phenomenal book. Um, it might be one of the best uh, personal development, um, definitely skill setting books that I've ever read. Best. So let's talk about these two things. That is uh, the other last two C's of confidence. Competence we covered. So the next one is to be congruent. Be congruent in what you do. Um, you know, and, and Brandon says here, you know, it's hard to be congruent naturally. Different parts of us are engaged at different times. He said we might be a rock star at work, but a janitor at home. <laughs> um, but you want to be congruent all the way throughout with the way you are, you know, with your, with your confidence. He says that high performance shaped their identity by conscious will and have aligned the thoughts, feelings, and behaviors to support that identity. High performers wake up each day and have a clear intention of who they really want to be. They go out in the world and they give that intention real focus and energy. And therefore, you have to be congruent in what you do throughout. Otherwise, you will not maintain that level of confidence. The last thing is to enjoy connecting so important. Dale Carnegie, very well-known personal development author, um, said that you can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people that you can in two years by trying to get other people interested in you. Wow. And he says, you know, introverts are just as likely to be high performers as extroverts based on their studies. But it's about finding out more about other people. Be genuinely interested in them. The more you work with people, the more you learn about yourself. The more, more you work with others, the more you learn new ways of thinking, new skills, and new ways of serving. He says, the, the motto of high performance is, I know I'll do well with others because I'll be genuinely interested in them because I want to learn. They are not thinking about the elevator pitch or what they have to tell everyone as much as what they might learn or how they can serve. Confidence comes less from projection than from connection. So a formula and farewell for now. As soon as you trust yourself, you will know how to live. Johan von Goethe said. So as we reflect on these three things, competence, congruence, and connection, um, what drives all of that is, is, is a form of curiosity. You have to care to learn new things, to live in alignment with who you want to become, and to take interest in others. And if you do that, my friends, then, then it will, alongside with seeking clarity, generating energy, raising necessity, increasing productivity, developing influence, and just demonstrating courage, um, you will be able to become a high performer. So I honestly, the link is here in my, um, on my, on my website, in my blog posts, um, I have several uh, articles about this book, um, and for you on Facebook, it's right here in um, in the copy of this post. Uh, you can get the link to this book. Ultimately, as I finish, as, as Brandon said, at the l ultimately, it's what it comes down to is to ask yourself the question or the three questions at the end of the day: Did I love? Did I love? Did I matter? And if you did that, 
you have done well my friend i hope this gave you great value remember to grab my daily aloha laptop lifestyle cheat sheet it's the four steps that i followed and still follow on a daily basis that help me live a life of my dreams here in beautiful Kauai and living a lower laptop lifestyle changing lives of other people doing what we do best and I'm so grateful and honored that I can be of service to you today take care my friends and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new series on how you can improve your confidence and your skill set aloha You can find more great branding, marketing, and prospecting tips just like these over at johanvenardi.com. And remember to pick up a free copy of his daily four-step Aloha Laptop Lifestyle Cheat Sheet. We'll see you over there.